Chris from one more cast. So just got out here. It's actually 631. So I'm um, I just launched a kayak. I'm out on the water now. And I got out here at a really good time. So I think I've got my timing down. Yesterday I was here at like 625. I was on the water. So ended up uh ended up um <clears throat> getting my timing down pretty well. But coming out today, I brought my bait bucket and the cast net. Don't have any chum, no bait stores were open, but I've been seeing a lot of penfish. So I brought some hooks, I brought some, you know, I brought the the bait bucket and the cast net. I've seen enough to where I should be able to just sight, you know, throw the cast net on some just by seeing them. I don't ha shouldn't have to really bring them to me with any chum. There's a lot out here, so I should be able to get at least a couple dozen. That's plenty for me. Um, even a dozen would work for me, but I might try it out today. See how it does. I'm gonna definitely start with top uh, top water, artificial first thing in the morning. If it starts to get rough, then I'll cast net some bait. I brought it just in case I seen enough and I wanted to cast net it. But yesterday when I came out, my buddy hooked a tarp in. I missed the tarp in. So far, it's looking like it's gonna be a decent day out here. But it's about 12 mile an hour, 15 mile an hour winds today. Temperature is about 71 degrees out here. I'm gonna get out there, try to catch some fish. I'm gonna troll this paddle tail behind me on the way out. I brought a new paddle tail with me, a new color of the Z-Mans. I used to throw it all the time in Boca, and I just, you know, once I started throwing the beer run, it started being so successful. That's really the only one I've been throwing, but I did bring that other color with me. Um, it's called Penfish. It used to be one of my really, really go-to baits out here in Boca Grande. So I'm probably gonna throw that around a little bit today too once I get set up where I'm going. But I'm gonna get out there, try to catch some fish, and I'll see you guys soon. So there's like a little feeding frenzy going on back here. Another tarpon just rolled right here in front of me. Something big back there blowing up. Got a little snook. Hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm gonna have to retie. Definitely. He's afraid me up pretty bad. Water yet. That is snook. This one's bigger. I should have retired too. Alright. This one's definitely a lot bigger than the last. Getting a little bit better. Dang. Yeah, this guy's a, lo a little bit better than the last one. I got a couple snook now. I'm gonna retie this and try to go get one of these tarpon. Okay, so I'm taking off my top water. Real quick, I wanted to point something out. So lately, I've been throwing my Miradine a lot. Normally, that works really good around spring, summer, and fall. I, I mean, it works excellent. And lately, I've been having real issues with it. It's not swimming right. It's sinking too low. And I couldn't really figure out what was going on with it. Um, I thought there was maybe been a hole in it or something, so I haven't been doing too well on it. Well, yesterday I bought this Rapala X Wrap, I mean, not X Wrap, it's Rapala Skitter Walk, and it came with treble hooks. I took the treble hooks off, and I was going to put inline hooks on it. But when I bought inline hooks, I bought sizes two and sizes one because I had different size lures. Well, I was looking, and I should have had two more size two inline hooks left and i only had one so i was thinking was i'm like what happened to the other one i didn't realize it well i got to looking at my miradine last night and i noticed that this back hook had a size two on it and you can see the size difference right there i mean huge size difference this is only supposed to have a size one on it so i ended up taking off the size two on the back put then that that that's where my size two 
other size two inline hook went. So I was able to put the, both these on there. So I finally switched out, put the right size inline hook that's supposed to be on this on this. So now it should swim right and it should do a lot better. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna throw this on now. I'm taking off the top water. Sun's starting to come up quite a bit. I haven't seen any reds really on this flat yet. I haven't really seen too much action, just a few birds. But I'm gonna drift, finish drifting down this island and go down to the next island and start wading my way back. All right. Fine, feels like I hooked into a fish. Not coming to the top though. Well, that's a little trout. Nice. So what I'm gonna do is try to practice taking a picture of it on the app. Okay, so he's 14, right on the dot. Go. Just took a little bit for me to figure it out. I had to leave him in the net for a while just to figure it out. I wasn't wanting to take the picture, but there he goes. Alright. Only choppy out here today. A couple boats just went by, but I mean it's pretty choppy also. It's very, very windy. So I've already filled up my bait bucket with water just in case. I've been seeing a lot of pinfish right here. So even if I can get like six, I'll be happy. Half a dozen. So I just want to get a few, just enough to try. I'm not trying to waste a bunch of time trying to get bait. I'll throw a couple times. If I don't get any after a couple times, then I'm just going to start waiting. But right here is where we've been seeing a lot of bait, especially pinfish. So I'm going to. Like I said, I'm going to drift this fish, and once I start seeing a little bit of penfish, I'm going to go ahead and anchor down and try to uh, get some. Alright, let's see my throw right there. It looks like there's some. It's a little hard to get it out front like that. Oh, I hit my paddle. Let's see. Oh yeah, it's lit up. I got some. Okay, okay. That should be plenty for just me. They're all greenbacks too, I'll take that. Okay. That should be plenty for just me. Yeah, that's a lot. That's good. So, I'll drop that in there. Penfish, but I'll take all these. These are all, that's a really good one right there. These are all really good sized greenbacks. I'll take that, I'm happy. This net. I'm not gonna lie guys it was definitely not an easy task doing that out here by this pass you got all these boats coming by here throwing off big waves because they're not small boats they're big boats that come through here all right that's all of them yeah that's plenty for just me right there that's plenty what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave this back here. I'm going to troll now. Try to get this bucket taken care of. And um, I'm actually going to start pitching to all these little spots right here. Because that's where I've been seeing the redfish. First green back and I'm already hooked up. They're actually pretty quick. Trout. There we go. This guy's not too big. I figure I'm gonna eat a lot. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to retie my hook. That went down in there deep. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and cut this off and retie my hook. Came out pretty easy. It wasn't. I tried real quick. He's not even bleeding. There he goes. Swam off perfectly fine. All right, so I got lucky with that one. What I'm probably gonna have to do is put a little weight on him to keep the fish down. So 
So I got a little split shot up here I'm going to throw on because these waves are keeping him up. Green back. Got another one. Oh, this is an, a lot nicer one. A little bit better. So I'm going to go ahead and This one right in his lip where it's supposed to go. Nice. Get that there. Put him on my bogos. I'm gonna go ahead and measure. Measure this guy. It's running. I hope it's not a catfish. It's shaking its head. It's shaking its head. Shaking his head like a catfish. Can't even see it. Feels like a catfish. Fighting like a dang red. Get him out of the line. He's in my anchor line. It's fighting like catfish, <laughs> but this is a really big catfish. Can't tell. A big jack or something, maybe? Yeah. I felt a lot of shaking. Yeah, I felt quite a bit of shaking down there. He's thick too. It's been a while since I caught a jack. Huh. All right. I felt the shaking. And I wasn't even thinking about a jack. But. <laughs> Normally you feel it in the rod and you feel shaking and stuff like that. It's usually either a jack or a catfish, but I didn't think of jack. I gotta get these pliers out. Get this hook out. I just I just switched spots too. I just ran through it. Just threw in a new spot. All right. Jack right there, little guy. Go ahead and go. All right. Yeah, just switch spots too. I was hoping it was gonna be a red. It's running. I didn't think of a jack. I'll throw a few more greenies up along these banks though, and try to get at least a few more fish oh, this thing flipped upside down got a couple more nice greenies in here throw a handful of them out maybe what's up guys so this is the end of the video i'm on my way back i'm not even gonna troll anymore because you know i need to hurry up and get back it's 12 50 so this is the time i needed to start heading back anyways even if i was in a tournament um, it was a rough day today caught some fish on some bait caught some fish on artificial i feel like i did an all right but i wish it would have been a little bit better you know didn't get the redfish did get a snook trout um seeing some tarpon this morning tomorrow morning i'm definitely gonna focus on getting those tarpon though i really want i've been so focused on fishing and preparing myself for this tournament that 
tomorrow I'm just gonna come out and I'm gonna fish. I'm not gonna try to do anything with the tournament. I'm just gonna come out and I'll fish and just, you know, have a good day. But it was definitely windy, it was really rough. It was really hard throwing that cast net. I mean, throwing that cast net got rough, especially with those waves and stuff. But I mean, I was able to do it, but I'm gonna go ahead and get out of here though. Like I said, wish it would have been a better day. Hope you guys uh, learned something new from this video. That's what my videos I try every time is to teach someone something new. I'm not trying to blow up, not trying to get famous, not trying to, you know, <clears throat> go viral. I mean, I've just, I, I really like showing people how to fish, teaching people how to fish and showing them the way I do it. I'm not the best. I will never claim to be the best. But I do know a little bit and um, I like to share that. So I like taking my kids and my daughters out so much because I get to teach them something new, especially my daughters now. I mean, they have to learn. They're, they're on this learning curve now. My boys, I mean, they've surpassed what I was doing at their age. I mean, they have really impressed me with the stuff they know and they can they, the way they work their lures and they tie their own knots. But I, I really love teaching people how to fish. This is just a hobby of mine and I really just enjoy doing these videos, you know, to teach people new things, but I'm going to go ahead and get out of here now. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell notification so you're notified every time I post a new video. Remember guys, there's always time for one more cast. I'll see you later.